Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to find the min minors and cofactors for a 3x3 three three matrix this time. So let's say we have a matrix uh, A and the elements of this matrix are as follows. Negative 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, and then 2, negative 3, let me write this a little bit more clear. 2, negative 3, and 1. And now we want to find, we want to find, I'm going to write here, find minors and cofactors. Minors and cofactors for, we will calculate for the elements, for these elements. A11, A12, and A13. Okay? Um, and then if we can fit in the other ones, we'll try to fit in here, or just we will show that in my, in, in my next presentation. So let's get started. We want to find the minors of these elements. How do we do that? To find the minors, M11, we're going to we can write this one as follows. We'll write the elements of the given matrix negative 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, um, 2, negative 3, and 1. And in, in here, since we want to find the minors of element A11, we're going to circle the first row first uh, element and then we're going to delete that row and that column the corresponding row and corresponding column and whatever is left that is that is going to be the minor of m and the, the minor of that particular element so that is going to be 5 6 negative 3 and 1 we want to find the determinant of that and the way to do that is as follows we're going to multiply let me we're going to multiply the minors, uh, major, major diagonal elements, which is going to be 5 times 1 minus, multiply the minor diagonal elements, and that is going to be negative 3 times 6. And therefore, when we simplify this, this is going to be equal to 5, negative 3 times, negative times negative 3 is positive 3, uh, 3 times 6 is 18 so 5 plus 18 so 5 plus 18 that's going to be equal to 23 the minor of element 1 1 minor of element a 1 1 is going to be 23 this is 18 okay and we can find the cofactors we'll uh, simultaneously find the cofactors as well C 1 1 is going to be equal to uh, is going to be equal to negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 1 m 1 1 right and therefore we can expand that as follows negative 1 raised to the power of 2 m 1 2 is 23 so since the value of negative 1 raised to the power of 2 is positive 1 positive 1 times 23 is going to be equal to 23 and therefore that is the value of C11. So we got the minor, minor and cofactor of element A11. So let us find the minor and cofactor for element A12. So to do that, let us do this. The minor of element A12 can be written as M12 like that. And this time, let us write the elements down, and then we'll see which row and which column we need to eliminate. So the the elements we have are as follows: negative three, two, one, four, five, six, two, negative three, one. And this time, the element we uh, we want we we want to eliminate uh, the first row second column and we want to locate ourselves there eliminate the second first row and second column and whatever is left 
we're going to pick those elements the elements which are left are 4, 6, 2 and 1 and we want to find the determinant of this and the way to do that is as follows we're going to multiply the elements along the major diagonal which is 4 times 1 minus multiply the, uh, the elements along the minor diagonal which is going to be 2 times 6 2 times 6 therefore when we simplify this this is going to be 4 minus 12 which is going to be equal to which is going to be equal to negative 8 okay so that is the minor of element a12 let's find the cofactors of this the way to do that is as follows c12 is going to be equal to negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 i is 1 and j is 2 here m i j m 1 2 so therefore negative 1 raised to the power of 3 and then m 1 2 m 1 2 we just figured out figured that one out as go, is equal to negative 8 and let's write that thing down so therefore negative 1 raised to the power of 3 is negative 1 times negative 8 Therefore, negative times negative is a positive. Negative one times negative eight is going to be positive eight. Therefore, let's put a box around it, and that is the value of co cofactor uh, of element C one two. Okay, let us find one more, and in this case, we want to find the minor m one three. To find the minor of element a one three. Let's write down the elements of the given matrix, which are negative 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, and then 2, negative 3, 1. And this time we're going to delete the first row and delete the, the first row and third column, correct? So let's do that. First row and third column. First row and third column. And whatever elements are left, we're going to find the minor, we're going to find the determinant of that. The elements which are left are 4, 5, 2, and negative 3. And therefore, the determinant of this is going to be the product of the major diagonal, which is going to be 4 times negative 3 minus the product of the minor diagonal, which is going to be 2 times 5. Therefore, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and then minus 2 times 5 is 10 therefore when we simplify this this is going to be equal to negative 22 the minor of element a 1 3 is going to be equal to negative 22 let's find the cofactors as well c 1 3 the minor the cofactors of element a 1 3 is going to be equal to the formula is negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j i here is 1 j here is 3 and times m 1 3 right therefore we can expand this one out as negative 1 raised to the power of 4 m 1 3 the value we just found out is equal to negative 22 therefore negative 1 raised to the power of 4 is positive 1 and then positive 1 times negative 22 is going to be equal to negative 22 so this is our this is how we can find the cofactors the cofactors of uh, um, m uh, c i j cofactors of element a13 okay therefore uh, we can find out the values of the rest of the uh, rest of the elements and uh, and i want to just write them down here and then you can see how these these uh, these come out okay so the summary in here is m11 is positive 23 m12 is negative 8 we've seen that and then m13 is going to be equal to negative 22 and then m21 is going to be equal to positive 5 then m31 uh, 22 
m22 is going to be equal to negative 5 and then m23 is going to be equal to positive 5 let me move this a little bit more and then m31 we can find the value and then that value is going to be equal to 7 and then m32 the value is going to be equal to negative 22 and then the value of m33 that is going to be equal to negative 22 so these are the minors and then to find the cofactors we can write the cofactors as follows we found these as follows c11 is going to be equal it was equal to 23 we saw, saw that c12 is going is equal to 8 we also seen that and then c13 cofactor of element uh, a13 is going to be equal to negative 22 and then the rest of the uh, we can find the rest of the cofactors as follows c21 is going to be equal to negative 5 c22 is going to be equal to negative 5 and then c23 is equal to uh, negative 5 and then c31 is equal to positive 7 c32 is going to be equal to positive 22 and then the value of c33 is going to be equal to negative 23 so this is how we can f find the values of minors and cofactors minors and cofactors okay in my next presentation we should look at uh, we should look at some more examples related to determinants of a matrix